Hey everyone, it's time for another patch of the week at Korg, and this week we're connecting our Korg Volca modular to some Eurorack modules that you might find in a typical Eurorack setup, including a quantizer, an LFO, and a VCA. The quantizer is going to take modulation information and snap it to a scale, such as a pentatonic or a major scale. The LFO is of course our low frequency oscillator to provide modulation information, and our VCA is how we attenuate and boost those modulation signals before they go into the quantizer. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is get our TRS adapter. This adapter plugs into the CV in on Volca Modular, and we can use the ring connector to modulate parameters on the Volca using outside signals from a Eurorack. This will convert the voltage into the Volca Modular's internal voltage. We do that by patching the information that comes in on these patch points right here. And you can see that the note symbol is next to this patch point, so we'll use this. And let's just plug that into the pitch input on the oscillator so we can hear it. And that's just our raw modulation signal from our LFO. And that sounds a little bit harsh, so we're going to disconnect that. And we're going to send that into a VCA. And this VCA is going to allow us to attenuate that level. And then we're going to patch the output of that VCA into our quantizer. And then from our quantizer, we're going to patch that into our ring input on our TRS adapter going into the CV input on the vocal modular. So now if I play a little bit of a note, So now we're getting these pitched, quantized LFO modulations. If we put on some reverb, so now we can add in a little bit of LFO speed to make that faster. And on this particular quantizer, we have a couple different scales. And we can also attenuate that modulation signal to make our range of our notes lower or higher. But we also want to use some of Volca Modular's functions to add in a little bit of motion into this patch. So we're going to connect the end of cycle trigger output of function 2 into the beginning of cycle trigger input on the same function. So that's going to loop that function. And we're going to take the output of that function and go into the control input on the first low pass gate. I'm going to turn down the Volca here to explain what's going on. Now you have, instead of the first function, which is hardwired to the gate from the internal keypad on Volca Modular, instead of that you have the second function, which is looping. You can see that looping going on on this knobs indicator light. Uh, that's controlling the first low pass gate. So we have basically We can turn the speed down. We have basically an LFO opening up our low pass gate and letting some notes in some of the time. Now we can make our patch even cooler by taking the end of cycle trigger and send that into the split. And that's going to split that signal so it can go two places. The first place that we're going to send it is back into the beginning of cycle trigger input. So we're going to get our modulation again and we're going to get our LFO triggering the cutoff, right? Those little flutters. And then we're going to get another patch cable and take that same trigger because we're duplicating that trigger and trigger the woggle with it. So every time this function cycles, it's going to trigger the woggle to sample another random internal voltage. And now we can use that voltage by taking the stepped output of the woggle and modulating the speed of that function. So each time the function cycles, it's going to cycle at a different speed. And we can further complicate that and make it a little bit more ambient by taking the other output from the woggle and going into the space out. 
So we're now getting random amounts of reverb every time that cycles. And while we have this set up, we can mess around with the attenuator over here. Or change the scale. Or even change the sound by wave folding it a little bit. And change the bass value of the reverb. Or change the general speed of the second function's loop time. Nice relaxing soundscape. <laughs> 